Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. Are you thinking about buying another laptop or desktop just to test the Windows or Linux operating system or any other software or application on it? Well, you don't have to. Let me prove it. As you can see on my screen, I have a VMware software installed on it. And in this software, I can, you can see here, I have a three operating system, Windows 10, Windows 11, and there is a clone of the Windows, but that's not the end of the list. You can see here, when I take you to this list, you will get surprise here. So when I go to the Microsoft Windows, you can see it's starting from Windows 11, 10, 7, XP, including Windows Server operating system. And then the list goes up to Windows 3.1. So technically you can install any operating system related to this window inside the software and you can test it like this server version 2022 is also available when you go back to the linux you can see in the linux this is start from the ACI nux goes to the debian fedora oracle red hat ubuntu and the list goes on right and when you go to the vmware esx this list is again they starting from esx 4.x to esx i7 and then others also you, when i go back to the list you can see this is starting from the ecom station 2 to freebsd netware solaris everything is inside of that in fact you can install mac os all in this one that's not a topic of this subject if you request in the comment box i will create a video where i'll show you how to install the mac operating system on the, the vmware workstation okay coming back to video you say that okay buddy so usually this is the VMware workstation, but how do I download it? From where do I download it? That's exactly I'm going to answer in this video. The great news is VMware workstation is now available for free. That means this software is, is available for free for personal use. And you don't need to go to any third party website or download it because you know that when you go to the third parties, you get a malware, viruses and all including in this software. So downloading the software from the broadcam is a little bit of tricky, but don't worry, I'm here to help you. So let's get into the video and try to download it from the Broadcom website. You may be thinking that why Broadcom? We, I, this is the VMware software. VMware is recently acquired by the Broadcom. So now all the software download of stuff has moved to the Broadcom. So we'll go to the Broadcom, then we'll download it. So let's go to the video. Okay, so this is my browser. So let me type the here like VMware workstation download and it will take you to the VMware website. So you can see the link here. Just click on it and it will take you to the VMware website. You can see this link VMware and then VMware player, but we are not going to download the VMware player. So just click on the VMware and then it will ask you to download from VMware Workstation Pro. So when you click on that, it, it will redirect you to the Broadcom website. So here you see uh, it moved to the Broadcom. Now it's asking about the username and the password. So we do not have a username. So what we do is we'll quickly go ahead and register ourselves on the Broadcom website. So this is how you go ahead and first you have to add your email address here. Just add your email ID, your official email ID or maybe your Gmail ID, whatever ID you want. So I'm adding my email ID and then you have to add the captcha here. So you have to carefully type the captcha and then once you type the captcha, click on the next. So when you put the captcha, it will ask you to verify your email with the OTP. So just go ahead and uh, add your, get your OTP from your email address and add it here. So let me go to my Gmail and uh, get this OTP. Okay, I've got my OTP here. So let me key in this information and then we have to click on the verify. So it will verify the detail and then it will ask you to create a profile. So you have to fill all the detail like your uh, first name. You have to add your first name, last name, country, and then you have the job title and then you have to type the password. That should be minimum nine characters and should be the strong password. So let's key in our password here. So you can see here uh, passwords and it says that this is a strong password and now we have to confirm the password so it's confirming the password and it says good i have to accept the agreement and create account just creating the account now and uh, in the below it says that you want to create a full profile or you want to do it later so let's do it later and then we can build our profile later on now we have created the profile and we are on the broadcom website okay so we have to click on the login again so it will redirect us to login page and then we have to add we have to log in with our newly created email id and the password here so let's let me key in my user id here and then we have to log into the login with the password so you can see here this is my password which i have given while creating this user account on the broadcom site and sign in so i have signed in to the broadcom website just to make the download easy we'll go back to our vmware website again 
uh, where we have started and here you can see the VMware Workstation Pro and PC and uh, once you click on the download now it will redirect you back to the Broadcom website so here you can here you can see you are on the my download page but it's not showing anything but don't worry we will go ahead and download it so we have what you have to do is we have to go ahead and click on my dashboard it says that welcome to a dashboard so that's well and good close it and then on the dashboard you have an option to search the software so just click there and type this uh, vmware workstation so when you type the vmware workstation it will show you the list we can see the vmware workstation pro so let's click on the pro version and so it will redirect you to this page you can see this is the option here so just select on that so you are in the this is the up this is telling about this updates and vulnerabilities which i found in the version so you have to scroll it down so these are all about the release notes and everything about the vmware workstation vmware workstation you can see the, all the kbs but don't worry just come down further when you come down further this is all about fonts and metrics and all when you come down further, you can see this link right vmware workstation pro 7.5.2 and you can see this is the first link click on the first link it will redirect you to the download page of the vmware workstation software now you can see this is our download pin uh, it's asking about the, which version you want to download so we want to use this vmware personal use vmware workstation 17 for personal use just select that personal use one for windows once you select that it will ask you to select the latest version so select 17.5.2 and now you can see you have to select this i agree and then you can see this little cloud option click on that cloud option but it says that you have to entitlement for your verification right so that's okay just click on that and then it will ask you for the compliance verification so in the compliance verification you have to add your uh, address to verify all the information here so as you can see this address in the address one we have we have to add from where we are what is our location and then the city we have to type so i'm from bangalore so let me type the bangalore here and then in the state provenance we have to type the state here and click on the submit so you can see it's redirected back and now this uh, little cloud is highlighted click on that, that and you can see the software is downloaded started so you can see how it tricky but when you follow the process you will be able to download the software from the website so that's it for today's video if you like my video please subscribe and if you have any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box thank you very much for watching my video